amateur bodybuilder, male stripper, loner. Those are just some of the words describing Caesar Sayok. Now add a few more. Suspected serial bomber. We have arrested Caesar Sayok in connection with this investigation. Here's what we know about the man charged with sending at least 13 package bombs across the country. He's 56 years old, a resident of Florida, but was born in New York. He has an extensive criminal record that includes arrests for threatening to use a bomb, felony theft, drug possession, and fraud. Here are the charges against Sayok so far. Interstate transportation of explosives, illegal mailing of explosives, threats against former presidents, threatening interstate communications, and assaulting federal officers. Sayok was taken down here in front of an auto zone in Plantation, Florida, and in the parking lot, a key piece of evidence, Sayok's van. A closer look at the vehicle shows the windows covered with anti-Democrat and pro-Trump stickers. Social media sites show him at Trump rallies, and CNN unearthed this video of Sayok at the president's rally in Melbourne, Florida last year, waving a sign critical of the cable news network. Political violence or the threat of violence is antithetical to our vigorous system of self-government. These terrorizing acts are despicable and have no place in our country. These were the targets of the 13 suspicious packages, including former presidents, an ex-presidential candidate, an ex-vice president, a senator, and the South L.A. congresswoman whose package apparently sparked a break in the case. They uncovered a latent fingerprint from one of the envelopes containing an IED that had been sent to Congresswoman Maxine Waters. That package was intercepted at a mail facility in Maryland. And now, two more California targets may be added to the list. Senator Kamala Harris's office revealed a similar package addressed to her turned up in a Sacramento mailing facility. And in Burlingame, a package with billionaire Democratic activist Tom Steyer's name on it was intercepted. Though we're still analyzing the devices in our laboratory, these are not hoax devices. Ray's statement is most likely meant to quash conspiracy theories about whether the bombs were real and who really sent them. The FBI director also warns this may not be over. There could be more package bombs in the mail just waiting to be delivered.